Von Fry, legendary badass, not shy, telling you how it is, Von Fry will die. You know, it's amazing how many people I have to tell this to, but YouTube hates you. They certainly hate me. Let me explain a few things here. Did you hear the story about Lady Gaga getting docked 156 million views? Well, it happened. A lot of people lost views. But you know what happens when you and I lose views because of some bullshit, maybe uh, ad click bombing, as it's called? Somebody calls you out and just clicks away until the point that you're no longer a partner. Hey, it happened to me. You're no longer a partner. You lose all your money. You lose the money you had saved up in your AdSense account, and you lose the chance to ever make money again. But not Lady Gaga. No, that didn't happen to her. Just a mere slap on the wrist, honestly. Those who cheated early prosper at YouTube. You ever heard of brat training? This girl sent with a bot program. She sent friend requests to everybody. She sent a friend request to me saying she loved the comment I had on a Harry Potter trailer, which never happened. So she gleaned user IDs, sent out, uh, just, I'm telling you, friend requests on YouTube to everybody on YouTube. Lo and behold, she gets partner status. I haven't checked out her channel in years. She's probably got a million subscribers. No real discernible talent. Not particularly funny. And then I see her on the sci-fi channel judging viral videos. Like she's really a judge for that. More like how to scam YouTube. That should be their show. And the thing about that partner stuff, do you know how people decide what videos they're going to watch on YouTube? They look at the thumbnail. It's that simple. Is there a chick with cleavage in the thumbnail? Yes, I'll watch that. No, I won't watch that. It's that simple. Who gets to decide what their thumbnails look like? The partners. The ones that YouTube sees as cash cows. They get to decide. No, average Joe working their way up from the bottom in 2013? You don't got no chance. Screw you. And then they got that banner. Yeah, the partners, they get this special banner. And I design YouTube channels for a living every goddamn day, 15 times a day. I want to get a channel like, like Smosh. Or, I mean, come on. Like, you obviously, if you've looked around, you'll see that some people have these banners and some do not. And if you have a brand new channel, chances are you do not. I mean, why do I have to keep explaining this to people? Google, who owns YouTube, has set everything up so that it discourages you from creating content. You look at what you're up against. Back in the old days when I got started, late 2007, it was feasible. You go, hey, these people have a webcam. I've got something better than a webcam. They don't have a mic. I've got a mic. I can do this. Yeah, you know? And you get going. And I got to the very top of a very competitive niche reviewing movies. I had like the first review out the gate as soon as I possibly could. And I'm going up against foes who later on get this major backing out of LA and they're able to beat me by getting the press screeners, which I can't because I live in Wichita and we don't believe in newspapers no more. And then well, how am I supposed to compete against that? And then they get girls who I'm not a girl to just wear some low cut shit and take their thumbnail picture, and then everybody knows what review they're looking at, right? And then you go and tell people the truth, and they get mad at you for being a guy. There's no way to compete against it. YouTube doesn't want you competing. They're taking the you out of YouTube. They're saying, look, you guys are wasting bandwidth. We would rather you go from creating content to just merely watching and clicking on ads and buying from advertisers. That's what the homepage is all set up about. You know, my girlfriend Taryn goes and shows off this new beta channel page. It's stripped down like goddamn's Craigslist. I believe there's a banner. 
I don't know why they want to take customization out of it. Make it even less appealing. You know, you go back far enough in this YouTube, it was a burgeoning place. You know, I couldn't act in a movie, but hey, I could create a kick-ass web series, and people would discover it. Yeah, good luck now.